At Cape Canaveral, two tiny astronauts, monkeys Abel and Baker, are readied for the first flight into outer space and safe return of Earth life. Dressed in protective spacesuits and wired so that readings on their physiological reactions can be transmitted to the ground, the rhesus monkey and the much smaller squirrel monkey are secured in separate capsules in the nose cone of a Jupiter missile. Prime purpose of the flight was to test the nose cone re-entry. In a sense, the monkeys were hitchhikers. miles out into space they travel. 15 minutes and 1,700 ground miles later, the capsule is fished from the waters of the Caribbean, where it re-entered the atmosphere. The recovery shown in these Defense Department films is made by the Navy tug Kiowa. Aboard of the ship, a team of biomedical specialists waits to examine the nose cone's passengers. The cone itself is in good shape after the fiery plunge through space. Abel and Baker are unspossed from their protective garb, and they prove sturdy little explorers indeed. Physically unharmed and in jolly good spirits, the first creatures from outer space in all history. Baker, the tiny squirrel monkey, is more interested in food than fame. And Abel, the rhesus, is downright blasé about the whole thing. A little later, the space monkeys meet the press at the headquarters of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in Washington. They brought back the best evidence yet that humans can function and survive in outer space. Pathfinders for the spacemen of tomorrow. <laughs>